Hey guys, it's Kai, and today the weather is pretty shit. It's raining. I don't want to be outside. I don't want to catch cold and be, miss work, because uh, honestly, I can't miss work. <clears throat> I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, you caught me. I smoked in the house. Do I care? Nope. Uh, gotta have a spit cup. So, um, things that have happened for us today is I got our new website up. <coughs> Link will be in the down in the description. It's Kai and Kendra .tk. Yes, that's the website. Kai and Kendra .tk. Also, which brings me to point two, now that I have a website up, linked, and everything is good, I don't have to get up to them 100 subscribers right off the bat to get a custom channel ID, because now it's our custom channel ID is Kai and Kendra TK. Which, I guess, means that Kai and Kendra is totally kick-ass? Oh yeah, I went there. Totally kick-ass. So I thought I'd go up on, on the Twitters and see what is trending. Oh, that's okay. Let's see, what's trending news right now? No, I, I just want to know all together with the trending let's see uh, let's see what, how, what this one is about it. football oh speaking of football <clears throat> apparently uh, the Oregon's NCAA record of 82 straight games with a touchdown pass did not go so well for us today my whole family are a bunch of duck fans as am I They won, but unfortunately it wasn't a touchdown win. And hey, 82 games for a college team. 82 straight games, touchdown win. Touchdown pass win. That really, it hurts, but hey, we still rock. So yeah, that's pretty much so far what I've found what's currently trending <clears throat> on the Twitters is um, football. Oh, here we go. This is what I really wanted. Let's see. Huh. I heard about this uh, a couple days ago. Apparently, a lady in Australia, her prize pet goldfish, underwent a $375 surgery. That's a lot for a pebble and a goldfish. I thought goldfish only had a life expectancy of two weeks. So much shows how much I know, apparently. I remember high school, we had a goldfish in our shop class, till someone got the bright idea to swallow it whole. All gone. What? Now this, now this is something I need to... 
Apparently, hey, now this, this is stuff I like to read. Apparently, Daredevil Eddie Braun followed in the footsteps of his idol, Evil Knievel, in an attempt to rocket across the Snake River Canyon in Twin Falls, Idaho on Saturday morning. And he did it. So he made himself a rocket. Oh, that's beautiful. And he made it too, which is the best part. Rockets himself across the Snake River Canyon and makes it. Makes it out alive. That that is pretty freaking cool, man. Wow. And that looks like about it. For anything worth reading. Well, there is one other thing that kind of hit kind of close for me. Um being ex-military and all. They had a, in, um, back east. Because this sure doesn't look like Seaside, Oregon. <clears throat> a pipe bomb, um, exploded in a garbage can along the route for the Seaside Park. Semper 5, 5K charity run in New Jersey's Seaside Park. Thankfully, no injuries have been reported. And, you know, stuff like this is just getting crazy. That Things like this are happening, and it was a military, military charity race. And they don't know if it was a prank or not. Oh, shit. Apparently there was three total to go off, and somebody screwed up. <laughs> somebody that don't know bombs made this because two of the two to three others were connected and they didn't go off so that is beautiful news to hear oh now here's something that's halfway decent. <clears throat> Apparently, um, I I'm guessing today is Batman Day. So one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, make sure I'm getting this right, XRPMX13, um, he's a big Batman fan, and he must be jumping for joy now that his channel's come back from the dead. Um that it's Batman Day. So, um, director Zack Snyder has teased a photo from the upcoming Justice League movie of the gentleman J.K. Simmons playing Commissioner Gordon. Now, if anybody's ever watched some of the newer episodes of the original Law & Order series, they should notice right quick that, uh, the guy here is, I believe he actually played, but I want to double check, I believe he played as one of the uh, DAs in Law & Order, because I remember him, so I, I like watching this guy. Oh, he was in The Closer, that was good. Uh, he pl Oh, okay, so if anybody knows the Marvel, he was the first guy to play... Um, Oh, what's his name? Uh, he was the editor for the newspaper that Spider-Man worked for. Uh, the one that doesn't like Spider-Man. And let's see, what other movies and TV shows? I swear he was in Law & Order. Okay, so... Was it, um, it's not... 
What? Apparently he was in Kung Fu Panda 3. <clears throat> Terminator Genesis. Megamind. Oh, God. I wish they'd make a Megamind 2. Yeah. That's all gone. Ugh. Sit up here for a second. Let's see. Sp yep, he was in most of Spider-Man's. Ah, man, I wish I could remember what... Okay, so I, I got it wrong. He wasn't... Um, he, he, he played Dr. Emil Skoda, the, um, the doctor in, law, in the Law and Order. Whenever they had somebody that had some mental problems, they'd call for Dr. Skoda as the um, person to look at this person and see you know, if they were truth or not. And that's where I remember him most from. Now, speaking of Law and Order... Just because I remember, I remember doing this one time. If I Google Law and Order, the original, not SVU, go to Wikipedia, and I need the actors. Um, Come on. That's not it. I'll know it when I see the name. No, oh, executive says no, no. Oh, come on. Uh, there it is, Jerry Orbach, Lenny Briscoe. Now, see, I once looked up this guy on his professional filmography, and and it shows a picture of him when he's young. And a show I used to watch, you know, the original of it anyway, was Battlestar Galactica. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. How you know you've eaten too many boiled peanuts, boiled peanut burps. Um, and I saw Jerry Orbach as a young man, and I'm thinking, well, I found out what happened to Elvis. <laughs> Look for yourselves. What do you think, guys? Looks a little like Elvis. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. He was one of my favorite actors on Law and Order. Uh, the only one that he could compare to, as far as I am concerned, is um, Munch off SVU. Man, Briscoe and Munch, the two of them. They were the only two guys I even, I even, the reason I watched either one of them was for the both of them. Munch because he was all the conspiracy theories and Briscoe because, because it was just Lenny. I, you know, he was the guy, he, he knew everything. He knew, knew the insides, the outs, didn't matter who came along, you know, Lenny had his man, Lenny had his man. And, uh, yeah. That was uh, it was a hard day for me when I when I found out he had passed away, and I foresee the, the the character that plays Munch as going that way because in a couple of episodes they you know they brought him back for for a couple of little things since he was now working for the DAs as a um, assist um, assistant examiner or something like that. Um,
he uh, he seems to, he just seems to get keep getting skinnier and skinnier every time he's on there. And I really worry that that he's going to be the next one that joins the list of people that have passed away. The world will lose another good one. That's for sure. Oh. And let's give a happy birthday to the United States Constitution. You're 229 years old today, and we still love you. And the government walks all over you. So yeah, guys, that's 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 pretty much what I got. Sorry, I saw something about Loch Ness. I have to cut that out. I've always, you know, been interested in the Loch Ness monster, if it's real or if it's not. This guy said he got a photo of it. Um, and then everybody says, oh, that's funny. It looks like three seals playing in the Loch Ness. That's funny. It's a landlocked lake. How are there seals in it? Oh, there's been some um, speculation that it's uh, actually has some undersea caverns. But that's here, neither here nor there. So on Monday coming up, you'll start to see better quality videos because we're getting a new camcorder. Um, a friend of my wife, Kathy Roberts, we've talked about you many times, we've pointed at you many times. One day maybe you'll be in one of the videos, because we like you a lot. Pointed us towards a different group to get, um, you know, rent stuff from. And also on Monday we're getting rid of the TV we got, it's starting to have some issues. She's six years old, guys, it's time to put her out to pasture. Even the new TVs, they don't weigh as much as she does. She's a 39-inch. We're getting a 43-inch to replace her. Had to have at least three HDMI cables, computer, Xbox, and cable until we get another TV for the back room. But that's pretty much what we've done, What, well, what I've talked about today. Damn, 20 minutes in. I, I ramble. I'm still trying to figure out what we can do, what I can do to talk about for content. I have noticed... I have noticed that, um... We get a lot more views when Kendra does videos. So, pump me up some views, guys. I Views and likes. Try to show me that I'm wrong, because if I'm not, I'm going to make sure We'll be doing a lot more videos once we get the new camcorder to do it's um it's one of the nice ones it's a sony um hdr cx 340 which is funny because I, I looked it up and the only models i see online are the 330 and that was from 2014 so a two-year-old model but the guy's getting a pretty good deal so yeah that's what we've got planned and, um, that's it. So we will, uh, see you guys later. Have a great day. And God bless.